Queens, Mansfield here, bringing you yet another tutorial. On today's show, I'm bringing you a drag queen craft. Now, when I got up this morning, I couldn't help but notice I don't have a purse that matches this outfit. What's a girl to do? Well, with a little hot glue and some materials you can find around your house, you can make a purse that matches your outfit. Let me list some of the things we're going to need for this project. You're going to need a hot glue gun and a pair of scissors, sewing Velcro, some measuring tape, some hot glue sticks, some fashion fabric that's going to be the outside of your purse, some decorative fashion fabric that'll act as the interior of your purse, as well as some scrap fabric for embellishments and whatever little trinkets you want to attach to it afterwards, and three pre-cut pieces of cardboard. The bag we're making today is a small little clutch that'll match any outfit you create. It's an easy project that you can do in 20 minutes. So stay tuned and let's create a purse. Before I start, I gotta take my gloves off because a lady never ruins her gloves when she's about to do crafts. Before you read me for not wearing any nails, let me just point out that I painted my fingernails for you kittens. I care. Hi everyone and welcome to my tutorial. Okay, first what we're gonna do is we are going to lay out our fabric. This is the fashion fabric. It should be something denser. This is going to be the outside of it. Taking three cardboard cutouts, two should be cut out five by nine and the other one should be cut out four by nine. The two five by nines are gonna be the body of the purse, whereas the four by nine is gonna be the closing flap. Pay attention to the space in between them. Between the two five by nines in the middle, you should have about an inch worth of gap space. That's gonna give you room in the purse to put stuff in it. And about a half inch worth of space between the closing flap and the body of the purse. Use your measuring tape to get a better observation of how much space you're going to need. Depending on how much space you put between the two will depend on how big or how wide space you'll have inside of the purse. You could alter this to your own liking. If you put more gap space between the two bodies, then you'll have more space inside of your purse. So it's really up to you. Just know that you'll have to cut a little more fabric. And using our scissors, I'm just gonna cut a half inch hem around the boxes. This will fold over and create a finished hem. And picking up my glue gun, I'm just going to glue down the body of the purse. Just doing a nice long gallop of glue, and remember be careful, this stuff is hot. You don't want to burn your fingers, and especially when pushing down on these boards, don't push too hard because glue could seep out from the other side and burn you. And keep some glue gun sticks on the hand because you'll run out of them quicker than you know it. You could use whatever boards you want, whether it be particle boards or old cereal boxes. These are actually an old Amazon delivery box that I cut up into this. So just use whatever you have laying around. As long as it's stiff, it should work. And just using my glue gun, I'm going to glue down the remaining flaps and just doing a nice long stream of glue around all the boxes and pressing gently down. I'm just going to put a long strip of glue along the boxes in between the fabric just to hold that down so it gives a nice finished look on the outside because we're not going to see any of these boxes. Now, picking up our fashion fabric, I'm just going to lay that over our cutout and we're going to cut around it. You want to leave it a lot of seam allowance so that you can fold it inward because this is going to be the inner lining of the box. Picking up our glue gun, we're going to glue the fold to the box to give it a much more pretty finished look. And just folding down that fabric, I'm going to slowly press downward and just keep that fold between the glue and the boxes. And flip it around and repeat the same process on the other side. Just take your time, do nice slow strips of glue and be sure you have some glue sticks on hand because you'll run out of this stuff quickly. It's good to have stretchy fabric when you're doing this kind of thing because you can pull it to the other side with ease. All right, now we're just gonna close it off. We're gonna flip it around and feel free to pull up some of the glue you already pressed down in order to make it work and trim what you need to trim in order to make it look nicer on the ends. All right, just tucking the fabric in, I'm going to put a strip underneath it and between the box and just press it downward. Using my fingers to press along the seams, I wanna make sure it's nice and tightly on there. And taking some more of the interior fashion fabric, I'm going to lay it downward, fold it, and just and measure on the fold between the purse and where the opening flap meets because this is going to be the side of the purse that helps keep the stuff inside of it. Measuring it along the bag and just taking some more of it, we want to cut out two of these things on a fold. You don't have to pin anything for this, you're just going to trace along what you already did. And just put it in there, the pretty part facing outward, and trim any excess you need to. We're going to take some glue and just dollop that all along the middle on both sides. And then we're going to take the flap and just close it over there of the purse. There we go. And just pull them apart and repeat the process on the other side, making sure they're nice and lined up. And be sure to give a lot of allowance on the sides, a little spillover, so that way you have more room in the purse. Like I said before, the bigger you make this, the more room you'll have inside of the purse. And just lightly press on that and just give it some time to dry. 
Now all we have to do is just go inside and finish off the rest. All right, taking some of our decorative fabric, I'm gonna cut out some decorations to adorn the purse with. I'm using a different swatch of fabric just to make it look prettier, to break up some of that pink, you know? And taking my bow, I'm just gonna put that on there as well. If you wanna see how I made this bow, Click my earlier tutorial, I'll link it in the bottom or at the end of this video. See, look at that, it's a pretty purse. Now we just take some Velcro and measure it outward. I'm using about an inch worth of Velcro. Now we're just gonna close the purse and see where we have to put the closures on. And just putting a nice liberal amount of glue on the back of that, I'm gonna press it down. Like I said, not too much pressure because you don't want glue to spill out on the other side. And when you close it down, you might glue the purse shut. So just be wary of that. And taking our sticky backs, we're gonna press those down as if it's already on. Taking our dollops of glue, a small amount is all you really need, and just lightly press that down. And like I said, be careful not to put too much, otherwise you'll glue the purse shut and you'll ruin the interior of the bag. And just press those down and you're good to go. And our purse is finished. Welcome back. Look at this cute little purse. It matches my outfit. Now this wasn't so hard, was it? You could do this in about 20 minutes with just a little hot glue and whatever fabric you have from your project. There's countless things you could put inside of this purse. Let's see, you could put your phone or your wallet or someone else's wallet or your car keys. Or even just open it up and attach like a little mirror right here so you can look at how pretty you are. Or put some pockets right here and you have your own little compartment for your fake IDs. You could put up motivational speech right here or the answers to the quiz. You could keep inside your James Mansfield pocket mirrors. You could even fit inside a James Mansfield cosmetic bag. <laughs> Available now at janesmansfield.com slash store. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below and let me know what you want to see next. I am listening, kittens. Until next time, bye. Click here and learn how to sew a bow. Or see me style the classic drag queen ponytail with Arta wigs. Come on, click it. I'm a Rue girl now. You have to click it.